Well, my peeps, Heidi Ho, and welcome to, well, it's not exactly a clean with me because I'm just going to give you a glimpse of where I'm at now. Um, I have totally torn my house apart. Look at all the, the thick dust on everything. I mean, it is, this is as dirty as my home has ever been in all the years that I have lived here. And there's little Mallory. And little Mallory says, Mom, what you doing? What you doing? Mallory says, Mom, you're messing with my house and I don't think I like it. So I'm gonna sit here on your recliner and hope things go back to normal quickly. And they probably will. I think it'll take me all through tomorrow to finish um, cleaning, vacuuming, dusting, washing curtains and putting them back up and so forth. So, yeah, I just wanted to share with you. I have not properly cleaned my home in, well, since my mom died. died. Actually, um, no, that's not true. I mean, I, I cleaned my home um, after she passed, but when I got sick in October of 2017, I was, like you guys know, I was practically bedridden for about a year. And on further reflection, I'm pretty sure I had a um, some sort of a SARS, obviously not COVID because it wasn't here yet. But something like that. I had pneumonia, recurring pneumonia, what felt like the flu, oh Mia, and that sort of crap. And then I just, I started losing my grip on my home. And I stopped um, having, I would have somebody come in and help me about every two weeks. And we would just clean the crap out of this place. And um, let's see here, I'm gonna look at you. Whoa, I've got my backlight on. I need to get rid of my backlight. I wonder if I can do that. I don't know. I have no idea if I can get rid of my backlight anyway. We'll use the backlight. We will use the backlight as if it's supposed to be lighting me. I'm sure it makes me look like a leprechaun. <laughs> Anyhow, so yeah. Um, I started to lose my grip and then a year later that's when I finally finally got insurance so in January of 2019 is when I finally got insurance um, but I didn't bounce back very quickly and slowly things stopped getting done a whole categories of things vacuuming um, taking my rugs out. Um, usually every other year I'll take my rugs out and I'll shampoo them in the uh, driveway. Um, you know, I would take my curtains down once a year, wash them, put them back up, that sort of thing. Um, my favorite way to clean was to start, well, I'll show you. I like to start in this corner at the top and I would wipe down that wall and take everything off of my little china hutch thing there everything would be clean the mirror would be cleaned where I'd clean all the way down to the floor then I would clean this wall take everything down clean my mirror you get the drift everything would be vacuumed that rug would be taken out like I said every other year and shampooed um, you know, and then I'd start on this wall and everything would get wiped down. I'd wipe down the walls, I'd take down the photos, everything. And that was a, that was a job that I would do once, maybe twice a year, depending. I would do it once a year, you know, in spring. And then if things were beginning to look a little grungy around the holidays, I would come through usually in October and clean the crap out of it again. You know, I would, uh, vacuum the ceilings, I would clean my chandelier, I mean everything got done. Um, I lost my grip, lost my grip on my life and I don't know 
how much of my fatigue is a function of de that depression that I was going through and how much of it is just a function of being too fat, having had high blood pressure and all that kind of crap that I had to eventually get medicated for. Um, I don't know, but I do know something interesting. I, I got my first COVID shot. I got the Pfizer. It's a week ago. I think it was a week ago Tuesday. No, well, a week ago tomorrow. No, a week ago Thursday. And um, something is different about my attitude. All of a sudden, I want to rejoin the land of the living. And so... I've noticed that I'm able to push myself farther, further, however you pronounce that word. Um, I actually seem to have an emotional investment in cleaning stuff. Um, there's a lot going on for me right now. Um, I have a plan in mind about how I want to separate my store life and my home life. Um, and I'm working that out right now. So, so I seem to be going through yet another change, and I, I am an ever-evolving specimen. You know, if you look back in my years of being on YouTube, just randomly pick a video from, you know, once a year or whatever, you'll really see the di my different um, moltings and you know, butterfly becomings. I, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm always changing. So here I am going through yet another change. Um, this one feels extremely, uh, positive and I'm very happy about it. So anyhow, there you go. Just wanted to share what I'm doing tonight at nine o'clock, whatever it is. It's Monday night. There's Mia. Oh, sweet Mia girl. Um, Tomorrow, Tuesday, Grant will be home. I'm so excited. He's been gone for two weeks as of tomorrow. And um, he went to see the grandbaby. Took a two-week excursion to see the grandbaby and his family and his uh, pregnant son and daughter-in-law. And he had a really good time. I think he's uh, looking forward to being home, though. So my goal is to try and get this place um, more or less whipped into shape by the time he comes home uh, tomorrow night. So that is what I'm up to. And I just wanted to say Heidi ho and, um, and hope all y'all are doing well. So go get vaccinated. Bye.